One of the boldest and most unprecedented moves by Game Freak that we have seen in a while is the introduction of brand new Regis that we are seeing in the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansions. The idea of more Regis for basically every type seemed like something that would only happen in fan imagination, but now Game Freak is officially making it a thing, at least for two more types, and the fact that these guys are not only legendary Pokemon obviously, but are new members of an an already existing legendary family in the Regis is extremely fascinating to say the least, and it really makes you wonder how they're going to tie themselves into the rest of the Regis as well as the rest of the Pokemon world. Well today I am going to be attempting to explain this to you guys because I have a theory about these two that is not only pretty bold in its claims but is also pretty dang fascinating if I do say so myself. And it really provides for a fascinating idea as to what exactly could be going on with these Regis, what their role is within the Reggie family, and what their role is going to be within the Crown Tundra expansion where they are going to be debuting. You better strap yourselves on in because this theory is going to be a fun one, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in addition to the two new Regis that we are seeing in the Crown Tundra expansion, we are also seeing the return of the three main Regis, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. However, we also saw the introduction of course of Reggie Gigas in Generation 4 as the trio master of these three Pokemon who also created them as well. It is widely believed that Regigigas created Regirock, Regice, and Registeel during the Stone Age, Ice Age, and Iron Age respectively, which could very likely be the case given their circumstance of being created long ago and the fact that it lines up with their theming as well as their typings pretty nicely. So with that said, if we were to assume that this is the case and go along with this idea, what exactly does it mean for the new Regis? Just based on their looks, they seem like they are going to be electric type and dragon type. So once again, if we go along with the whole age idea that we established for the previous Regis, what age exactly could these two new Regis possibly have been created in? Well, starting with the Dragon Reggie, it could absolutely fit in perfectly with the Middle Ages, as that is the time when dragons are most famously said to have roamed the land, and this period of time is where all of the famous knight-slash-dragon stories come from. Additionally, the Middle Ages are also an established age just like the other three, and they also fit in perfectly with Pokemon Sword and Shield and the Gala region being based on the UK, their theming, their culture, basically everything about Pokemon Sword and Shield and what it represents fits perfectly with the Middle Ages, so once again, this is an absolute perfect fit for the Dragon Reggie. As for the Electric Reggie, this is where it seems like it gets a little bit trickier at first glance because there isn't exactly an Electric Age, is there? Well, as a matter of fact there is, but it's actually known by a different sort of name. The quote-unquote Electric Age, aka the Age of Technology, is currently going on right now. We are living in it as we speak, and it is often referred to as the Digital Age. Just like the other four ages we have previously talked about, this term has definitely been used in an official capacity, much like the others, to describe the era we are currently living in, as well as describing what is currently going on within this general era of time, and it also fits right in with this idea of every single Reggie being created within a specific age perfectly. So, given all of the evidence, I think we can pretty confidently say that these new Regis, assuming they are indeed Dragon type and Electric type, could have been created in the Middle Ages and the Digital Age for the Dragon and the Electric type respectively. So that's a pretty cool fact in and of itself, but that is not where this story ends. We do know, thanks to their temple that we see in the Expansion Pass trailer, that it is divided right down the middle for both of them, which effectively seems like these guys are going to be somewhat of a duo. And one thing about the Middle Ages, for instance, versus, say, the Digital Age, is that they actually represent two pretty opposite periods of time, one being the past, and the other, of course, being the future. A duality and a theme like this could certainly bond them together pretty well as a duo, but if they are indeed meant to represent the past and the future, what exactly does that mean? 
Well, it just so happens that another new Pokemon being introduced in the Crown Tundra, where the Regis are also being introduced, is Calyrex. And according to the Pokemon website, Calyrex is able to see, quote, every past, present, and future event. This is a pretty significant connection given the possible theme of these new Regis, and the fact that all of these are legendary Pokemon who are also being introduced in the same expansion as well. So maybe they are going to have something to do with one another in the story of this expansion, and maybe the story will have something to do with looking into the past and the future of the Pokemon world. I am also still pretty convinced that this basically means nothing, but the X and Y on the new Reggie's faces that I previously mentioned in a past video also kind of fits in with this idea pretty well as well, because if we look at the plot of Pokemon X and Y, which this could seemingly connect to, it is about looking into the past of 3000 years ago, where a Pokemon was brought back to life, and then something from that past, the ultimate weapon, is being used to try to assess essentially destroy the world and create a new one in the future. I do feel like admittedly that the whole X and Y connection is just wishful thinking, but because it does line up pretty nicely with this whole larger idea, I feel like it is at least worth taking note of, if nothing else. With that being said though, that is pretty much the theory, that these two Regis are Dragon type and Electric type, they represent and come from the Middle Ages and the Digital Age, and they also represent the past and the future, and could have something to do with Calyrex's ability to see into the past and future as well. If you guys enjoyed the theory, be sure to give the video a like, and definitely let me know all of your thoughts about this in the comments below too, because if you have any other details that you would like to add to this, or just general thoughts, I would certainly love to hear it. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content all the time. You can also support the channel further if you would like by listening to my Pokemon remixes on Spotify and checking out my Pokemon Cardinal project if you haven't yet. Both of those are immensely appreciated and really make a difference in allowing me to make videos just like this for you guys every week. With all of that being said though, I will be back on Tuesday with another video, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you can know as soon as it goes live, and with all of that being said, I hope you know I love you guys very much, and until the next one, as always, I will smell you guys later. Thank you.